In this video, I'm going to discuss the 2% rule. I'm going to talk about uh, using the 2% rule as your risk management, what the 2% rule is, and an idea of uh, what sort of capital you need to start uh, trading. <clears throat> Uh, you can find my description uh, referral links in the description box below. Please go use them. So let's talk about stop losses. Let's talk about the 2% rule, what it is, and how it factors in, how it's the start of your trading. I want to begin this video by making uh, a firm statement. If you do not use a stop loss, you will lose all of the money in your account. Period. If you do not use a stop loss, you will lose every single dime that you put in your account. I have busted accounts, I've blown through accounts, and I promise you that you can have nine out of ten winning trades. You can you can win nine out of ten days. I've had I've had streaks of of periods of time where I've won ten days in a row. And then it's one day to blow up, guys. It's thirty seconds to blow up. It's it's unimaginable how quickly you can lose your money. And it will change your life. It will change how you view everything. It will change you as a man, as a woman. It will change when you see how quickly it can, it can evaporate. It will change your perspective on things. And I want to talk about how you, how you can do it the right way and maybe go in a little bit. I'm going to make a longer video sort of ranting about how you can do it the wrong way as well. So what is the 2% rule? Very simply, the 2% rule is on every single trade, you will risk exactly 2%. It could be 1%, but the industry sort of day trading standard is 2%. So if you have a $2,000 account, that's uh, $40. If it's a $5,000 account, that's $100. It could be a 1% rule as well. There's nothing wrong with a 1% rule, but in this, uh, in this example, we're going to talk about a 2% rule. So, for example, if you have a $2,000 account, 0 0.02 times 2,000 is $40. Now, if you are trading something like the micro ES, for example, that's $5 a point. That means that you're going to risk eight, eight points, eight points on a trade, okay? If you're trading more than one contract, you can see how you know your contract size can vary. The other thing is that if you have a, um, an amount that is not exactly at 2%, then you need to go ahead and round it down. You always want to err on the side of rounding down. The 2% rule is the start of understanding how really man risk management and money management in day trading should be done, and it's going to change your perspective on things. Guys, if you don't put in a stop loss, you will lose all the money in your account. If you don't have a game plan coming in, like the 2% rule, you will lose all the money in your account. You will blow your funded account challenges. You will blow them again and again and again. You have to start someday, and today should be the day. If you do not go into the marketplace with a defined risk rule, you will lose all the money in your account every single time. It might not happen today. It might not happen tomorrow. It might not happen this week. It might not happen this month. But it will happen. It will happen. I promise you. You have to start implementing a fixed risk management rule. And you have to start really being disciplined. Your initial stop should be no more than 2% of your account equity. You could pick a 1% rule. You could pick a half percent rule. In this instance, again, I'm talking about a 2% rule. And you always round down. TradingView makes this really easy um, because TradingView will take a percent, percent, uh, percentage of the account balance and you can just set this at 2. So you can set that right at 2. Um, 
and you can do that right on trading view before you even set the order you can just press two and that's going to dramatically it's the start of everything guys number one when you implement the two percent rule what are the benefits well first off you're going to immediately lower your number of contracts that are that are at risk okay so you are allowing your trades to get stopped out when you allow your trades to get stopped out it allows you the mental clarity the emotional clarity to reassess what the market is doing at any given time and you have to be able to do this there are going to be times when you start implementing a two percent stop loss rule where you're going to have five six seven ten twenty trades in a row that you're you you lose but nevertheless you have to do it and you have to scale it every single trade and it has to become an automatic process this is not something that should take up any mental clarity or sorry mental effort or mental equity as ICT would call it it shouldn't be anything that requires any sort of conscious effort it's just every single trade is two percent every single trade is two percent if you put more contracts on so if you put one two three contracts on instead of five dollars a point it's going to be ten dollars a point and then you half the amount of points that your stop loss can be but no matter what your initial risk is two percent of your account every single time every single time no exceptions you never widen that stop loss the only thing that you ever do with that stop loss is as it, the trade goes in your favor you first will move that stop loss down to break even or you could even move it if a trade say you know you enter in a trade it moves against you but it hasn't hit your two percent stop loss it starts moving in your favor you could lower the risk but the maximum risk that you will ever take on a trade is two percent of your account balance so what does that information give us well first off you sort of get an idea of about how much money you really need to start <clears throat> day trading futures and for something like the micro ES uh, you see that you know I would recommend no less than two thousand dollars that gives you an eight point stop loss on one contract uh, when you start getting less than an account balance of two dollars you're talking about really tight stops on only one contract and um, it's it's not a very comfortable way of trading so I wouldn't recommend starting your trading journey uh, with less than two thousand dollars if you're trading a funded account challenge your daily risk or however much the company allows you to lose in a single day so for example if you're trading hundred fifty thousand dollar top step combine I think it's three thousand dollars in a day you would take point zero two of three thousand dollars and then if you take some losses uh, in a single day you would uh, lower that you would keep lowering it from your daily loss limit not your maximum loss limit but your daily loss limit it gets a little bit funky when you're trading with um, prop firm challenges or you're right you're trading with prop firm challenges and knowing okay well what really how much really is two percent I'd recommend two percent of your maximum daily loss um, if you're trading something like apex trader funding that only has a single stop loss you, you might need to do a little bit of math is should I do 0.02 of 7500 fake dollars 0.02 but in any event guys the easiest way to do it is to go on a live brokerage put in two thousand dollars three thousand whatever your initial account equity is however much you're gonna be willing to part ways with or trade with two percent of that and this scales down as you lose money you're, you're scaling down your position sizes or if you're at one micro ES contract then your stop losses are getting tighter at no point is it really a bright idea to trade with about two thousand dollars in your account I mean you could get down to about eighteen hundred seventeen hundred dollars in your account and and still trade one contract um, but I'd say at a minimum you should be keeping two thousand dollars in your account guys the two percent rule is what you have to start implementing right now it could be one percent rule could be a three percent rule the hard lesson of trading is that it it only takes one day guys it only takes one day I think you can probably tell I had a bad day today I'm not going to show you the numbers but needless to say it's bad um, risk management money management is is really the foundation point and that two percent rule is 
something that's going to keep you in check. It's going to allow you to sleep at night. It's going to uh, allow you to reevaluate your positions. So, for example, if you start taking repeated losses, you might want to reevaluate uh, where you think the market might go. Uh, you might want to use a different model, whatever. But, uh, guys, this should become an automatic process. Um, it's 2% every time, and that's it. Whether you're entering in on a limit order or a stop order or a market order, no matter what, 2%. Okay? You have a choice. You can put on more contracts and have a tighter stop, or you can put on fewer contracts and have a wider stop. No matter what, it's 2% of your account equity. I want to reiterate what I said at the start of the video. And no, I didn't bust my entire account today, but it was a lot. Um, if you do not go into this industry with a stop loss or a risk management protocol, you will lose all of the money in your account, guaranteed, every single time. Okay? And I don't want that to happen to you. I don't want you to, to suffer the sort of same emotional highs and lows that I've suffered. Um, I certainly I, I don't want to see that happen to you. Um, I want you to go into this uh, journey, you know, you're going into day trading the right way. Uh, don't quit your job. Don't whatever source of income that you have. Don't quit. Don't don't quit it. Um, day trading is more likely than not. Uh, should be a supplement to your income, should, uh, unless you're just you have enough money that it you know two percent is enough. Fine, uh, you can make this a full time profession. Uh, in another video, I'm going to talk about my recommendations on you know how many products you should trade that sort of thing. But in this video, I wanted to cover the two percent rule. The two percent rule is the simplest form of risk management, and it's where everything starts. All right, guys, this has been my quick and short video on the 2% rule. You can find my referral links in the description box below. I hope that you start implementing that 2% rule yourself on every trade, no exceptions. And you should see it, it should lower your stress. It should lower your emotions. Um, it should allow you to focus on other things that are not trading uh, in your life. And whenever you start getting used to getting stopped out and taking losses, um, accepting those losses, in other words, uh, you'll, you'll see the benefit of it, guys. Okay. Bye-bye.